Hey everybody, it's Righteous Freed with a, another weekly update. We're gonna start off first with some big news. I reached Languisher finally. Yay! Insert background sharing. It was, uh, whew, was a little bit stressful. I already posted the video before. Go check that out. Title that I reached Langrisser in there. It was right here against uh, Mr. Newbie. He played a single target rush comp, and I was, with Yulia and Weiler, able to overcome that, thankfully. But go give it a watch. I'll link it in the description below. So. Finally reached that part. That was a big achievement that I've trying to do since started playing the game. This last weekend, I'm probably going to play a few more games. I didn't play any because I had other issues going on in real life after I got that one game off. But this weekend, I'm going to see if I can get top 256. Hey, that'll be awesome. If I can't, got my first achievement here. My team for next season will be amazing that again went over that before but i'm working on where is she hilda right now gonna be just got my guild reward so i have to get her up to lancer and we're gonna be doing the gambling in just a minute hopefully i can get a throne guardian for her because that way she will have a little bit of extra hp trying to make her the tankiest possible that way no one can get through to her but once i get her built up once i get noemi built up Florentia and Light of Genesis. I'll be replacing Freya, Hiei, Zerida, and I will probably be replacing Liana with Florentia because with being able to constantly give act agains like really fast, or I can build them up and then two turns in a row I can act again. And also just the sheer amount of healing that she can do to keep the troops up. It's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to keep that up. She can heal multiple people as well. She doesn't have prayer like Liana or gospel. But being able to deal damage and clocking resounding might is going to be pretty interesting. I might try her out. I might keep Liana. All depends on how it works within a few practice matches but i'm really looking forward to noemi and light of genesis having these two single target mages here this is going to be a little bit different for my play style as you can see the only real mage i like i use dlip but she's more i always seem to use her more for you know the heals and keeping everybody alive and her just poking people down yulia is normally the only one who finishes somebody off so it'll be a nice change of pace and Especially being able to kill a bunch of the other tanks there who don't have as much magic defense. For the next start of the season, I, I'll i have at least no, all three of, like Hilda, Noemi, Light of Genesis at 5 star. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Alright. For shards, right now, I'm on my last day of farming Sigma. Here, we'll just do that right now. Finally got Sigma. Do, 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 do. One. Two. And three. Ah, oh, yes, finally. Here we go. Six star. Ha 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 ha. Look at all those stats. They're so strong now. Now it goes down to every two turns. This will just be great for once I get him into his SP form. I'm going to try using him as well. So throw him in there. That'll be really cool. Bam. Aw, uh, yeah. I need to re-enchant these a bunch of times because percentage is a little low. Doesn't have any HP, but decent attack stat, so 
have to get all those done, but I feel he's going to be really useful. Alright. Moving on from there. Now that he's done, it's going to be Hilda, Light of Genesis, and Mariel. She'll be 6-star before the end of playoffs. Or the elimination matches, I should say. I'll work on Florentia then by the start of Season 6. Or 7, I mean. Haha. <laughs> uh, Florentia will be 6-star. And then I'll be working on Noemi. After I have Noemi, Hilda, and Light of Genesis done, it'll be Licorice and Arienrod. That way I can start having a mixed box. And Licorice is... Yeah, Mariel's pretty close. Well, close enough. Let's see. Ariane Rod's got a ways to go. Not too bad. Meta Genesis will be four star in a few days. Yeah, hell, it's just gonna take a while. Noemi's got a same same path that Ariane Rod. Just a couple a couple less days. Licorice. I pulled so many licorices, and I don't know why. I think it was trying to brace myself for the future when I went into a mix box, but they, none of them are going to take too long, really. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, so hopefully this will work out. And now we're going to get to the favorite part of the video. We're going to go to the equipment gambles. I already got my ticket. These are not ready. Alright. Alright. We're going to do one of these. Is this good? It's a bad one. Bad one. Okay. We got all... We got that out of the way. Alright. Scepter of Divinity, please. Wow. That's rare. Okay. But I have like seven of them now, I think. Or six. Alright. We'll do a helmet. Tenyos. Ugh, garbage. Alright, last rites. Scepter of Divinity. Scepter of Divinity. Er, er. Last rites. Last rites. Garbage. Tenyos. Tenyos. Garbage. Oof. Disappointing. Just a bunch of ore. Hmm. Hmm. Do I dare? Nah. I need the accessories and possibly a ruined stone. Not worth it. I already did a ton of summoning, so... I'm just going to save up the accessories are worth it more. No Throne Guardian, so that's going to mean a Ragnarok is going to go on my Hilda. Let's see. Training grounds are coming along nice. Right here, working on the defense part of the Holy One. I boosted this one up right before last Saturday's match, and that actually helped me survive a little bit. So that was really nice. So I have enough burning straps here to finish it. Mm, devout gloves. Need to farm those. Need one more pretty spray, and then a bunch of gloves. Once I get the, the defense maxed out, it's just going to be straight HP. That'll make my Redeemers the tankiest. Alright. I'm probably going to build Steel Main Werewolves for Burnheart if I ever decide to switch over to an Empire box. But these are also really good for Taguro. They give a lot of damage as well. Like at max rank, it's 40% attack increase. And when attacked, defense increased by 40%. So, pretty good. And they restore HP at, after battle. 
Now make them full demons. So in this kind of climate, I wouldn't want to do it, which is one of the reasons I went away from tank busting because I couldn't use my favorite to girl. But other than that, pretty much everything is good there. Bumped Lancer's attack. Ooh, I can get that up. Should I? Don't have to use these for anything else at the moment. Not going to be using Phalanx Soldier. Let's see. Lava Titan. Hmm. It's going to be a while before we get Vargas 3C and 3C for Burnhart, so not really going to push for them. I'll save everything right now, but if I can get the Lancers up, it's going to be pretty decent. I like using the Amazon as champion since there's a lot of SP Elwin still around. I'm like, if I put it on Yulia, really great. I'm able to counter him really well. You're going to see a video on that where I one-shot an Elwin with my Yulia. So I had to clear my throat right there. All right. Other than that, this weekend's gonna be was pretty boring. Only did one match to get the Languisher. Got there. This last week, I'm gonna try to grind it out. If I lose and drop below, hey, that's what happens. I don't have the comp that I want, but if I get into there, hey, I made playoffs. That would be nice. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys are achieving your your goals. Hopefully everybody gets a Langrisser or a Gold 3 at least. I want to thank you all for watching. Consider liking and subscribing to help grow the channel. Righteous Freed out.